Some of the inshore reefs do get affected by sediment. So this is a picture of a reef, it's probably the, one of the world's most turbid muddy reefs, it's just north of Townsville. You can see it there with a big black arrow, it's called Paluma Shoals. And, it, and we've studied this over many, many years, and it turns out the rivers have almost no effect on these reefs. This picture was taken, you can see that water is not clear, the water is muddy, you can just see the waves there. And that mud has been on the seabed there for thousands of years, and every time the wind blows, it's, it, it produces waves, stirs up the seabed, and the water goes extremely muddy. And it will do that for many, many, many days, in, you know, in fact, over, over the whole year, for about a month in the whole year. It turns out that there's about a hundred times more sediment that is seen from the resuspension of the waves by the waves than from all the river plumes, and that the river plumes have uh, essentially almost no effect. Here's another picture. The, the top one shows the coast. It's not the most brilliant picture, unfortunately. It shows so the coast around Townsville, and you can see the Burdekin plume coming out there, and the reef is offshore underneath the clouds. And you can see a green plume uh, going up the coast and this is from the uh, phytoplankton bloom from all the, uh, the nutrients that are in the, the river. And they'll often show that picture demonstrating that you know, somehow you're affecting the reef. But in fact, it never went onto the reef, that plume. The bottom picture is actually more interesting because this is in a period in the middle of the dry season. And you can see there that the coast, off, offshore from the coast, the water is very muddy and this was taken in a time of very very strong winds and out to 15 maybe 20 kilometers from the coast the water is muddy and it's muddy because the waves are resuspending the sediment on the bottom that's been there for a thousand years and in fact those conditions in fact we actually had instruments measuring under both the when both these pictures were taken on magnetic island there was far more sediment in the water during the uh, wave event on the bottom than during the plume. So it's yet more evidence that the farmers are not killing the reef.